This is a quick video over Ohm's Ohm's law. So usually you might see it written as r is equal to v over i. And I tend to like to write it as the current i is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. So the voltage is the driving force and the resistance is the thing that's pushing it's or not really pushing but resisting the flow of the current. So if you increase the driving force and you keep the resistance the same, you're going to get a higher flow of electrons. Whereas if you have a low voltage or a low driving force, so remember voltage is the driving driving force of the electrons, force of electrons, and the resistance is the, I mean, it's resisting force of electrons, or the uh, slowing of electrons. So if you have a high driving force and a low resistance, you're going to have a high current flow. Whereas if you have a low voltage and a high resistance, then you're going to have a low, a low current flow. So let's say you have a battery. So here's our battery. Let's say it has a voltage of, I don't know, 1. And we have a conducting wire. Our, let's actually put the resistor in first. So we have our resistor, and we have a conducting wire. A conducting wire. So if this resistor had a resistance of, of so that's volts, of 1 ohm, 1 ohm, what's the current in this system? So if we go by Ohm's law, the current is equal to the voltage, which is 1 volt, divided by 1 ohm. Now, how do we convert that? Well, if we remember a volt, a volt is a joule per coulomb, so we have 1 joule per coulomb, divided by 1 ohm, and an ohm is a joule per second coulomb squared, then we do a little bit of rearranging. This joule will cancel with that joule. This coulomb will cancel one of these coulombs. So what we get is we get a coulomb per second. So one coulomb per one second. So that is equal to one amp. So our system has a current of one amp. Now let's say we increase the voltage to a thousand. To a thousand. Well now we have a thousand joules per coulomb. So now we have a thousand volts per one ohm. And that's equal to a thousand joules per coulomb all divided by one joule per second coulomb squared and what do we get? We get a thousand a thousand coulombs per second or a thousand amps. A thousand amps. Amps. And uh, just to clarify, a coulomb is equal to 6.241 times 10 to the 18th electrons electrons. So we have a thousand coulombs or this number times a thousand. So that's how many electrons we have going through there. Now let's instead say we actually know the current. So let's say we know the current and we don't know the resistance. So we don't know the resistance. What is the resistance? So let's say we have a current of 10 amps. 10 amps. So we know we know the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. So the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. Just from Ohm's law, we just rearranged it. So that is equal to a thousand volts, a thousand volts divided by divided by ten amps. Ten amps. So again, a thousand volts is equal to a thousand joules joules per coulomb divided by 10 coulombs per second and that is equal to that is equal to a hundred a hundred joules per second coulomb squared or 10 ohms ohms so that is how you get resistance